Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another weekly vlog or kind of more of a chit chat. But first off, I just want to thank everyone for subscribing, for being here. Um, you know, it is a small beginning, but small beginnings are great. I'm very appreciative of those and just enjoying the experience overall, being able to communicate and reach people through YouTube, which is a source available to us. This is the time of the quarantine coronavirus so I actually already work from home so it's just um, having to be able to work from home with everyone else uh, normally the kids are at school and it's been challenging but today I was able to get off early we're not busy at all wanted to take some time and just really do a video talk a little bit about myself and just really uh, since I've reached over the 100 subscriber mark, which again, it's a small beginning. But for me, I got so happy for everyone who's been subscribing. I've reached over 100 subscribers. Yay! So I'm super excited over that. Thank you to all who shared the videos and everything. Here's my husband. But yeah, so this is for over the 100 subbies. Thank you for everyone. And so yeah, I think it's a little bit time to get to know me. So first question guys, so the first question is where did you grow up? And I actually grew up here in Texas. Um, well, I was born in Dallas, Texas, and then I moved to Mexico for two years, uh, Michoacan. Is that a store? Michoacana is a store. So if you were probably born in Michoacan, you'll be called a Michoacana, maybe. <laughs> You're a store. <laughs> no. But there's a little city called Huetamo. So like, um, yeah. So I lived there for two years. And when I first was actually there, um, they used this word for referring to a girl. They used chamaca and they used wachita. And so the first time that I went to school and these little kids were like, Hey, wachita, wachita, chamaca. Well, you know, and they're asking me my name. I was not responding and they thought I was super rude. My dad, like, he told me that what it meant after I got home from school, so. Oh, and then I went to Virginia and that's where I lived for most of my time. <laughs> lived in Virginia for like most of my years and so some of my very close close friends are still in Virginia. They flew down for my wedding and I stay very in touch with them but you know um, <laughs> I don't talk to them every single day but I know that they're always there they're one of my closest friends and you know they were actually they've been there for me in some tough times so next question is who is your first best friend and that would be my friend from Virginia Grizel I would see her skating around and I just thought you know Honestly, I just thought she was showing off because all the kids were like looking at her skate and so um, I don't know she just really approached me and my Perspective on her changed to like, oh, no, she's actually friendly, you know, and she wanted to get to know me and Yeah, we just became really best friends. So once the school year started she really introduced me to her friends Even though honestly some of her friends did not like me and never liked me and I picked up on that quite a lot but she was always there anyway she didn't care she was still my friend how tall are you is the next question i am not very tall i like even numbers so i would like to say that i am five two but um honestly i think i'm five one dogs or cats i do prefer dogs um i don't know what it is with cats um but i've just had crazy experiences with cats um my sister veronica has always loved cats like always whenever she would have a cat um and they were just trying to cuddle with me and purr and do all that thing that cats do like i would pick them up literally open the front door and just toss the cat outside because it just would frustrate me that they were always wanting to be around me and i just don't like cats but 
I know it sounds evil, but it's not really that evil because cats land on their feet. At least the ones I threw, they always landed on their feet. So I never injured one. And they were always walking fine after that. I just, just didn't like them. I prefer dogs. They're cool and um it's just been specific dogs i really haven't dedicated time to train dogs but the ones i've really like gotten close to they're like already know what to do and they i feel like they f they hear more of my emotions whenever i was younger and had a dog and i was ever sad you know they knew and they were always around you know and it was such a special time my favorite dog i would say is also what year were you born i was born in 87 and i'm okay saying that you know it's there's nothing wrong with sharing your age i don't know i'm all right with it you're wearing perfume what scent is it this is the next question um the perfume it's always my go-to is from rue 21 and um it's called etc that is the one perfume that I don't know what it is. It just, I've always gotten compliments whenever I'm wearing it. And so it's one of my favorites. And especially now that I'm pregnant, like it still does not bother me. It's been my go-to. Tea or coffee? I'm going to say coffee all the way. I really, I'm not a tea drinker at all. And, um... I don't really like tea, but um, I do love coffee. Coffee is the way to go. My life goals. I want to event eventually just, um, you know, have my own business. I do love music and um, I love writing poetry. I love writing. Um, I'm not the best singer, but I do love singing. But, you know, whatever it is, wherever God wants to put me, something that I can just do on its own without having to work for a company then it's great you know that's just my goal to like really work for myself so yeah so i don't have to work for anyone <laughs> and really just buy a home or a house you know um not really secluded i am a homebody so like with this whole coronavirus and stuff you know i saw a meme the other day i'm sure many have seen it but it just said i didn't know that my regular lifestyle was called quarantine and yeah so that's me, um, pretty much just a homebody and I work from home, I stay at home. If I could just buy a house secluded and you know, or maybe assume, like maybe hidden, surrounded with trees away from society but the stores are still not too far out and then I can go get groceries and just have a room for each girl and of course the baby when it comes, have my own office, just build front a house from the ground up maybe but like a big enough house for all of us um that'd be great i think just that's my goal just to reach that place in life you know favorite movie i have quite a few movies that i like i don't watch that many but i really like the book of eli i like collateral beauty is a very good movie as well um so the will smith movies are pretty good <laughs> And I do like uh, The Passion of the Christ is a very good movie. Um, what I really do most of is watch shows. And um, one of the shows is um, The Chosen. So I'm just waiting for the next seasons to come up to be able to watch all those episodes. But that is currently, if anything, besides the movies, one of the best shows. And I am not kidding you guys. This has really put in perspective and reevaluated my vision. It made me realize a lot of things. So yeah, it's a really good. If y'all have not seen The Chosen, y'all need to watch The Chosen, especially for you guys that are just inside and not able to go out. Do something fruitful that's gonna benefit you guys uh, and just watch it. You don't lose anything. You're already watching probably murder mysteries and what are you trying to learn? How to murder someone? <sighs> my favorite youtubers hey why not i can name a few favorite youtubers the one of the first youtubers that i ever watched saw her from when she had very little subs it's dulce candy um she's very cool like um some of her videos i remember when she would just she still does this but um 
she would just sit and talk a lot and her videos would kind of be lengthy you know but i loved it because i felt like she was actually talking to me and the way she speaks is kind of like you're there with her and you're her friend i always told her well i didn't tell her but i always said you know that's my friend right there i'm watching her silence but no yeah she's cool um so i that's Josie candy that's one of them and i don't really watch a lot i do have a lot of videos that i watch on recipes some that i haven't even tried to be honest but they're there and saved most of the youtube videos that i do watch are music videos or yeah youtube music i watch my husband's lance blake official the link below i also watch um this one called girly vlogs i just recently started watching her um i think the reason I'm mostly watching her though is to get ideas of videos because um, she went from very little subscribers to boom and so I'm kind of just trying to see what she's doing. I do watch other YouTubers that are starting up just to really see how they're doing and just supporting them too like I I know what it means when someone subscribes to me or they message me and they said that they subbed and and they're starting off too so I do sub back and and it just I don't know I like doing that just to support each other it costs nothing zero dollars and zero cents you know like what is it stopping you from being a subscriber like it helps them you know it helps me do you speak any languages and how well see Hablo español y lo hablo muy bien, pero no perfectamente bien. That means I do speak Spanish, but I don't speak it perfectly well. And I mostly speak the ghetto version of Spanish. My dad was always told that, that he didn't speak it like he was Mexican. Basically, like if he was Cuban or... I don't know, but I don't hear that. Yeah, so I speak very good Spanish and I can write Spanish. I can read it. I am i don't like being called Chicana. That's one of my pet peeves, so... Like, I don't like being Chicana. I'm, I don't think I'm Chicana. I'm Mexican-American, you know, because I want my Mexican to be included in what I am or what I'm being labeled. You single or taken? I am taken, of course, if y'all have seen my other vlogs. But um, I am married. It's almost a year that me and Lance have been married. Yeah, not too long, but... Yeah, I feel like I've known him for like my whole life. How would you describe your fashion sense? Laid back. You know what guys? I have been saying that I gotta do these eyebrows and I really do. Like I really do. But again, with the coronavirus, there's just like no way for me to go out there. So now I gotta live hairy. But anyway, that has nothing to do with fashion sense. I mean, it kind of does with fashion, but... So my fashion sense is really laid back. I wear what's comfortable. Um, the only time I really get to dress up is if I know we're going with like a special date and you know it's dinner or it's something we're gonna spend the whole day doing. I try to really look cute. Or church, you know? Like try to look cute in church. Today I did my hair and my peine and everything because I'm recording this video but other than that, I would just be in a bun. How many siblings do you have? I have three other siblings. So my oldest one, Elena. And um, if you see her, she looks like she's 20. But she is like, she is not 20. She is so much older than that. But let's just not mention that age here. Uh, and then I have Veronica, my other sister. She's older than me as well. And then I was born... You know, everybody got happy and excited. And my little brother, which he is my little brother, but he's taller than me, uh, Daniel Sosa. And he does have a YouTube, so you can check out his YouTube channel here. What is your go-to fast food order? <laughs> I eat anything. So I don't have a specific restaurant or a specific fast food order. I like Pollo Regio, I like Cesar's Tacos, Taco Bell, I like McDonald's, Starbucks. I don't like Chick-fil-A, I like Popeyes. Oh, I like Canes, so yeah. Chicken Express is good. 
Do you have any bad habits? That's the next question. I don't know. I don't know. I tend to overthink things more than they should and I try to kind of like try to figure out why people are doing the things that they are and I already come with my conclusions before they're <clears throat> able to explain themselves. Um, so that's a bad habit. So the electricity has been going on and off this whole day and it just went off again. Um, it's been crazy storming. The weird thing though, it's just not raining at the moment and it just went off again. So that's why the lighting is different. If anyone cares about lighting, I understand how important it is, but um, I just never thought it was like the most important thing. The last question and then we'll be done guys. It's Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of things about me that it just takes time for me to even share. But one thing about me that probably nobody would know is that I'm very quiet at first when you get to know me. Like I'm very observative of like the crowds, like in person. If I am in a crowd and I really don't know the major majority of the people there. I do tend to be very quiet. And I just, I know that I'm very weird if people actually get to know me. Like, I'm a big weirdo. Like, it's being easier now transitioning that through the screen so you guys might see some weird things about me because, you know, but it's easier, I don't know, now to do it in front of a camera. But I can't always do that when I am with people in a crowd. Um, so it takes me a lot of time to warm up and as soon as maybe I make a comment of something or if I voice my opinion on a topic or whatever it is, I look at people's reactions just to really observe. Um, like if they, if there's people that just really hate hearing others opinions because they feel like they're always right or they don't give a room for you to speak or they interrupt constantly or there's there's so many things that i pick up on that i'm like no yeah these are people i will waste my breath with <laughs> and they will go nowhere and so i'd rather not i think maybe in that sense i'm kind of judgy you know i'm very picky when it comes to picking my friendships and um i just think because and most of the friends that i have actually are from friends that I've had my whole entire life. Like once you're my friend, I know you, I keep in touch with you. You're my friend for life. Like I don't have a friend. I don't think I've ever had a friend that was ever mad at me and has stopped talking to me or does not, not want nothing to do with me. I've never had that. So I think that has to do with me being picky with my friendships. Like, or even the people that I associate myself with. Um, yeah, I've never had a friend just tell me they hate me. Ooh, I think I would cry. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what that's like. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I know we're all in quarantine. These are all the questions I was able to find. Maybe to share a little bit more. If y'all have more questions, feel free to ask me or inbox me or even on Instagram. All my information is right below. Um, I have my Facebook public page there that you can follow me. I have my Twitter, which I don't really know how to run Twitter, but it's on there. And then I also have um, my husband's um, inst well, Facebook and YouTube channel down below. I have the girls channel there. They have not uploaded a lot of videos recently or none at all. But um, yeah. Um, maybe they'll get some ideas and want to post something. I never force it on them. You know, that something that they're very creative with and they do on their own. They're actually playing games on the next room. They come up with some weird games, which is great because I don't want them always to be on their phones and stuff. Follow me, subscribe if you've not done so yet. Again, it's free of charge. There is no fee. There's no fee to do it. Thank you guys again for subscribing and giving me an opportunity to grow my channel and being a part of this honestly like i know what it means now it's because of you guys that you know we're able to advance and stuff like that honestly um yeah 
this is great if you're in quarantine stay safe from the corona wash your hands like they say it's better to wash it with soap so if you have soap versus that antibacterial use the soap scrub 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 while you're scrubbing your hands say a prayer you know find that relationship and closeness with god and these signs are so obvious you know i'm not scared to be honest like i understand i have to take precautions but I take precautions every day I'm never one person to sneeze without covering my mouth or you know cough even like <sighs> in public or in front of people or not wash my hands like that's something i was already doing so like now of course i'm doing it more but um yeah still be cautious but also like these are times that are written down these are times that are you know written in the bible and so for me it doesn't come as a surprise and a lot of the things that are happening is kind of like god telling you hey wake up what i'm saying is true and hopefully nobody forgets what they're feeling now when this is all over because worse things are to come that's just how it is and we gotta prepare for that but anyway guys subscribe like share thank you for watching y'all are awesome god bless no one can love me the way you do you reign with majesty splendor and grace your love is a flame that can't be put out